I'm going to explain in this video how to do three-dimensional graphing on the TI Inspire CX. So first, start at your home screen and start a new, you can actually go to graph, but I'm going to go to new document and I'm going to hit no on the unsaved document and then add a graph. All right, so once you're in the graph screen, whether you go here or add a new document, go to menu and then go to view and then choose 3D graphing. Your calculator should all be updated to do this. If not, you need to make sure that you do update the version 3.0 uh, software to do it. <laughs> so you notice here that 3D graphing is in terms of Z. So whatever you're trying to graph, you need to make sure that it is solved for the Z function. So say, for example, I wanted to graph X squared minus Y squared. If I graph that, I get this pretty um, high it's hyperbole with a saddle here, and you can actually, I have my mouse here, but if you use your cursor to hover above it, you can actually move the graph. It's a little bit easier than the mouse on the computer here. You can rotate it around, and if you see in the right-hand corner, it gives you the XYZ uh, coordinate system orientation, and you can actually move the thing around, which is kind of neat. Um, so let me put it back. You can also change the window if you want to, if you go to Menu go to range and range settings you can change the menu there so if you wanted to change for example the x setting to negative 10 to 10 uh, you can do that and your homework will usually give you the window settings it wants you to be on so you can get a better view of it um, this is actually a pretty good view of this graph and then if you go to tab you can go back up just like you do in the regular graph screen and change the graph so let me graph one more just to see what it looks like x squared over 9 minus y squared. So here's an a hyperbolic paraboloid is what we would call this. And you can move it around and see what it looks like. I'm going to make the z-axis a little bit bigger so I can stretch it out some. So I'm going to go to range and let me make, I'll go ahead and make my y min and max bigger too. Negative 10 to 10 is usually a pretty good window for these things. And my Z scale, like negative 10 to 10. And we can see it a little bit better. And if I go to menu and go to XY orientation, you can see what it would look like just from the XY range. And if I go to YZ, same sort of thing. But again, from any of these views, you can move it around so you can see what it looks like. So that's how you graph uh, in the TI Inspire CX.